So today we're going to be reviewing the Uncharted Lost Legacy, one of the newest Naughty Dog games. Now, I just want to be clear, today I'm not going to be as fun as I was. What does that mean? Well, what I mean is that I'm going to go over this like what I did with the Nathan Drake stuff, as if there won't be any funny cutaways. I'll try and make this entertaining as possible, but just want to let you know that even though I'm calling this series Addies, and also there's one more not caddy coming out soon um, which will be an exclusive one on the Addies Games one um, I am going to be reviewing this game in, an, in a caddy way so sorry if you don't like this video, if you don't like this video please stop watching but I would like to clarify that I'm not caddy but this series is called Addies and we may be changing camera so, um, because I can't film that much on it anyway Lost Legacy time, baby. One thing I'll get clear with you, I like this game, but I don't really see that much of the hype for it. As of, I like it, the story is good, but there's only 10, 10 chapters instead of like, I think, 20. Now, even though this is the game which was, which is exploring Chloe's um, storyline and also got Nadine here from Uncharted 4 I'm the thing is I kind of actually do still miss Nathan as of yes I know that his story has been explored and may get extended in the film I just like I wouldn't be making a video like 10 reasons why the Lost Legacy is better than Uncharted 4 because truly I will say this Uncharted 4 is better than this game this game only has 10 chapters more encounters than the last one as of in one chapter you get about 5 or 7 encounters you do there's not much there's a storyline and I find it fantastic, most of the stuff is totally whipped from Uncharted 4 and there's some newer stuff but there's also some stuff I would like to say. The text of when the chapters come up always changes, it does. And so instead of having it in the pirate way which was quite nice, we've got the boring old bland text from Uncharted 3 which at the time from Uncharted 1 to anything before Uncharted 4 was perfectly alright but I feel like they could do so much better because if you don't know that most of this logo like the Uncharted Lost Legacy is kind of inspired from Uncharted 4 even though there's, na there's no Nathan Drake in here Samuel Drake makes a return for this and also the brothers are mentioned in this game because well why shouldn't they be? Even though his story is done, you can still somehow claim in the multiplayer, which is basically Uncharted 4's multiplayer and survival modes and all that other stuff. Now, yeah, again, please don't get me wrong. I like this game, but I feel like Uncharted 4 is actually so much better. Why? It's because of the storyline and how they emotionally grip you onto Nate. Because this is the this is like one of the ones where you get to see Nathan as a child, play Crash Bandicoot, see him lose his brother in, in, in the um, escape in the prison, and just so much more. And this doesn't win, this grips me more. But then when it comes to the Lost Legacy, it just, I don't know, there's not much emotion to that. I guess there is some. Um, some scenes where they make you <laughs> but there's to be honest there is actually not that much um, it's just not as good and as Uncharted 4 I'm sorry it's just I like the game the multiplayer is the same which when I was playing it I got to play as Waif and Nadine but can you still play as the good guys I have no idea go, I'm gonna might go back and check on Uncharted 4 if you could do the same thing but, do I absolutely hate this game? No, because this is my opinion. I like this game. I I do. One of the reasons why I actually bought it, so I can keep up with the Uncharted stuff. But please remember, this is only supposed to be like some sort of a DLC from Uncharted 4. And also, I just want to say this. 
They didn't spend that much time on this. Uncharted 4 got released last year and The Lost Legacy got released today, which meant they only had either a year or even more to work on this. Basically like Crash Bandicoot. When Crash Bandicoot 1 came out, da da. Crash Bandicoot 2, improvement. Crash Bandicoot 3, good. Nitty, I know there's some new stuff in here, but yeah, again, think about this. You could treat this like releasing the games that they first did. Crash Bandicoot. Those are good, but when it comes to this, I just want to point out that they only spent about a year on this. No, just seriously, think about it. They only spent a year on this.